like all we know is hustle, nigga. Now go and watch me break safe. No product of my pigment, but I'm still gonna wreck the game. Yo, what's going on, guys? This is KC Beast here. And today, I'm pretty much gonna give you guys a little bit of a uh, coin making feedback. Now, rule number one anytime there's a promo that drops that's highly sought after, such as like a Mike Vick promo or Bo, Bo Jackson or anything of that sort, it's gonna be pretty much your, it's your time to snipe and make coins. Anytime that happens. I can guarantee you people are gonna put coins down for little to nothing. And uh, that all has to do with them pulling packs. So before I continue guys, go ahead and drop a like, go ahead and leave a comment, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And show brother some love. Now, like I was saying, guys, um, these promos, they're gonna get you coins and coins and coins if you time it out right and if you space out your profit. Now, I know it doesn't look like my coins are too crazy, but that's because I'm constantly buying and you know, just buying little things I need, whether it be training or whether it be a player here or there. All these guys that I'm showing you guys, I got for little to nothing. I'm going to show you how. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right, guys. Now, the key is, guys, like I said, anytime you have a card like this Vic right here, this hits the market. Everybody wants this 92 overall Vic. Everybody wants that 92 overall. So, what you're going to do is you're gonna take advantage of that. How are you gonna do so? Pretty much people are gonna buy their cards or they're gonna put their cards up for little to nothing. When people put their cards up for little to nothing, you're gonna take advantage. 20K, all these 83s overall, and I always tell you guys too, you have to find a filter that works for you. Find something that you really, really are, it's simple to use, something that you can do, that you can do multiple times without worrying about it, you know? And if you do so, you'll pretty much find all the coins and the cards you need. Or you'll find all the cards you need to make coins. Um, Yeah, it was crazy today, man. 12,000 for 82s. And you can flip any of these 82s for about 18 to 1,900, especially when the promo's going. Now, as it gets a little um, more or less diluted, you're gonna have less cards. So they're gonna pretty much go up in price again, and you're gonna have to find the balance point. The balance point, if you ask me, is always 5K to 6K more. Meaning you can repost a card that you got for 5K more, depending on how cheap you got it. Some of these were crazy, 13K, I was putting those up for 19 and selling them. 20K, I'll put those up for 25. 19, same thing, 25. 25 on all these, and I'm making those cards back. 25 on every 83. Now, if you put them up for 25, you're making anywhere between two to 3K a card. I know it doesn't sound like much, but when you start doing this over and over and over and over again, you're gonna end up making a lot more profit, I promise. It's quick, it's easy, it's a surefire way to pretty much make cards or make coins. And you don't have to you don't have to spend too much. So the risk, the reward is in too You're not you're not making ten thousand coins a card, but you're making just enough to keep your profit coming and going. And that's my thing. Um shout out to Chewbacca Lemma. I'm not Chewbacca, so I can't tell you guys how to stack two million coins. I just can't do it. Um, I don't have the time nor the patience to sit here and snipe that you know that far. But what I will do is I will constantly have money coming in, especially when I'm using you know money. So I stick to this filter because if you ask me, this is the best filter. This is my favorite filter. This guy right here, I can sell this guy easy. 25, 26. If I sell them for 26, I'm making 2K, 2.5. If I sell them for 25, I'm making 1,100. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, like I said, but you see it adds up, especially. I mean, you can, you can, you can even 
go 27 sometimes, 2680 is where I'll put it, just so I can make a little more. And if I don't sell it, I'll lower the price like 500 coins. The trick is, like I said, you just can't panic. You have to keep being patient and you have to keep refreshing. And if you do so, you'll find yourself in coin heaven. Um, and yeah, these are both snipes. So you don't have to try too hard. You know, you're gonna find a whole bunch of them up there. And it's pretty much it guys. You don't have to go out of your way to create the, the, the biggest hit filter because that doesn't always work, you know? And you're not always gonna get the biggest hits doing so. Um, but doing this, finding a low value filter and just knowing when to buy and when to sell will make you tons of coins. Like I said, you do not have to put this for the lowest price. But like I said, as people are pulling packs, you're gonna be buying cards. The cheaper, the better, obviously. And you just have to find that balance point. It's a balance point. It, it, it really is. It's, it, it's a balance point. And you can, you can do this ever so, ever so often. Whenever there's a new promo coming out, that's usually the best time to snipe. Because like I said, people are pulling packs. They're pulling packs. They're trying to get that new card. And they want to make their coins back. They want to flip their coins. They don't want to, you know, have to rely on reposting cards. But that's not us. That's not us. I don't mind reposting cards. I don't. Because I know I'm going to make that profit back. All I have to do is find that balance point. $20.95. I could make something off this. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it just for, for the video's sake. And I'll pretty much make 2,000 coins if he sells for 26. It is, like I said, it doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't. I know it doesn't. But this game can make you go broke, especially when you're buying new cards. So you want to do everything you can to stack as many coins as you can and to pretty much balance out your 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 profit margin from your spending margin or whatever. Um, and it's not hard. It really isn't. You have to find a filter that you like, a filter that you like, and start filtering cards down. Filtering them down to whatever you pretty much want to do it. Um, it's that easy. It's that easy. Um, another thing you can also do, guys, is know when to pretty much, I'm not buying that one, but over here, this one, because it will. And I know you're seeing those 22s, you guys are probably like, man, why is he buying these 20s? He's not gonna make anything. But like I said, I guarantee these cards will sell. I guarantee it. Um, it might not be the first go around. It might not be the second, but it will happen. And you wanna, you know, I'm getting a little greedy with this one because Miles Garrett is a little more profitable. But you wanna time it out or you want to space out your profit, you know, don't be too greedy. If you end up being too greedy, you're not going to sell it. That one might be a little too high, but we'll see later on, you know. And what I'll do is I'll just lower a thousand coins. No biggie. And yeah, easy way to flip coins, guys. Easy way to buy the cards that you want. Never buy a card right when it comes out. This is when it comes to coin flipping. I don't care. I'm not talking to any of you guys who are buying packs. If you're buying packs, don't listen to me. If you have all the money in the world and you decide to forget your light bill and your phone bill and you want to go ahead and just spend money on packs, by all means, do so. More power to you because you're flooding the market for me. So please do so because you're helping people like me who don't want to spend no money. But if you're like me, you don't want to spend no money, do this enough. 14s are alright, I could use that. Hopefully it should be pretty good. Now with these 20s, it's gonna even back out the price, like I said. Even if they don't, even if they don't sell all right now, they will sell. And you just gotta keep it posted. No harm, no foul. Buy the cards that you want when they're when they're when they're low and when you know people aren't um aren't thinking about how low they're putting the cards with the I could buy those, but I don't really like buying 82. It's just not my thing. It's not my thing. You know, 
I know for sure these are going to sell. These A3s more than less are going to sell because of the training value that you get along with these cards. So even if you're not selling these cards or if you want to buy some quick training, I mean, you're going to get training for half the price just by doing so. And not, and, and not doing it while the market is uh, less saturated. Everything has to do with supply and demand. And when you have more supply, when you have more supply, supply, you have less of a demand for those cards. Meaning you lower the profit for those, or you lower the price pricing of those cards, excuse me. And you hire your profit just by holding on to them and reselling or by just reselling them within an hour. And different times of the day will allow you to make different amount of coins. 19K for an 83 overall, you're never gonna go wrong with that. The game is too early, it's still too new. Until these drop dramatically, this is the way to go to make your coins, guys. You can do this all day long, you don't have to worry about it. And like I said, just kind of watch your profit stack as you do so. And you'll find the tipping point. You'll find where people are gonna buy cards. And you're oh, so weird that happened. And you're gonna find oh 13,000, I'm buying that because it's easy, it's an easy one. 13, I'll put that up for 17 or 18. I'll make a cool 3k, 4k out of that. You can't beat that. You can't. And it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of know-how, and enough. Enough, uh, enough momentum to keep yourself going. The key is you pretty much have to just find them at a low price. Find them at the lowest price possible. And if you do that enough, you're gonna end up making tons of coins, guys. So take your time. Use this exact filter if you like it. This is my favorite filter. Um, feel free to shout me out when you guys do use it. Um, and I'm not the first person to ever think about doing this filter either. So by no means am I saying I figured this out. But I am saying I figured this out for this game. Um, meaning I didn't, I wasn't looking at anybody else's filter for this. A lot of people do it through programs, or through, uh, through team, which I'm sure you can make a ton of coins that way too. Um, I just really like this filter because it's easy. I can just keep going by position, you know? You find the overall, you put newest value in, and you just refresh, refresh, refresh. You do that enough, you're gonna guarantee your profit. Um, and right now we're hitting. I don't know what's going on with, with, with the system though. I'm assuming it's just tripping out, huh? There you go. Anyways, guys, one more time. This is KC Beast, and I do appreciate you guys checking me out. Go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment one more time, and show me some support, guys. I really appreciate you. I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Have a good day, guys. See you later.